So, Chinolo, are you with me? Yes, I am. Okay, so now you can see what I look like. I still don't know what you look like. <laughs> How are you, dear? I'm okay, thank you. Good, fine, thank you. Okay, Chinolo, we were talking about trying to get an inverse question. Is that right? Yes. Okay, and you told me that you were given a function f of x is 1 over x minus 3. Yes. Okay, now we can, you can actually see me write what we were talking about. Yes. So, Tanolo, the best thing is obviously to first write it as y equals. Yes. Okay, right. What was the next step that we managed to get you in order to get the inverse? What are we going to have to do? Sorry? What do we have to do for the inverse? As a first step, once we've got it reading y equals, what is our first step? Oh, we step? put the x to the other side, so it's going to be x equals, is equals to 1 over y plus Minus three. Okay, so in other words, we're not putting it to the other side, but what we're doing is we're actually swapping the x and the y. Okay, so where the y was, we put the x, and where the x was, we put the y. Yes. Okay, right, now the next step is the one that I got you to, but you were battling with it, is that in order to actually know what the equation of this um, new function is, this inverse, is we have to get it into the y form. We yes. can't leave it like this. Okay, yes. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a common denominator of y for both sides. So if I choose y as my common denominator, that means that 1 goes into y, y times, so I'm going to multiply my left-hand side to get x times y okay. is equal to, this has the denominator of y already, so this is going to just stay 1. Okay, yes. and then this one, because it's got a denominator of 1, what are we going to have to multiply the 3 by? By um, the 3, you have to multiply it by x. By x or by y, love? Yes. Because we're getting a common denominator of y. Oh, okay. Okay, so, right. so let me just quickly show you that what I'm doing is I'm multiplying this by y uh -huh. over y, and I'm multiplying this by y over y to get a common denominator so that they've all got y as their denominator. Oh, okay. Okay, and because I've got, then got it to a position where they've all got y as their denominator, I can then drop the denominator and just compare the numerators. All right. Okay, yes. so we're back to that step. So x times y is 1 minus 3y. Okay. Yes. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm still on this mission to get my equation saying y equals something or other. Yes. So I've got to make y the subject of my formula. So what do you think my next step is going to be? So don't you say y is 1 minus 3, right? Mm-hmm. Over x. Okay, but then, then it's going to still have a y on the right hand side. So I'm going to have y on the left and y on the right, and that's not good enough. Okay? Yes. I've got to have everything with a y on the left hand side. Okay? Can I can I show you what you wanted me to do? You yes, wanted yes. me to say y is equal to 1 minus 3y over x. But now can you see this chappy here? There's still a y yes. on the right hand side. So can you see that that isn't what they want? They want it to be y on the left and x on the right. Yes. Okay, so that was good step but not great. Okay. Okay, alrighty, so I want, it, I want all my terms with y on the left hand side. Okay, yes. so I'm going to suggest that what you do is you bring the 3y to be with its other y term, okay. okay? All right, now, how many terms have I got with y in them? Two. Two, and I wanna get y to be the subject of my formula. Yes. So you know from grade seven, no, grade nine, yes. how do we actually make this into, instead of being two terms, how do we make it into one term? You take the y and divide it by the three y. Uh, da, 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 da. You? No, you can't because we need it to be one term before we can do any division. Okay, so can I suggest that we take y out as a common factor? Yes. 
Yes. All right. Now, if we take y out as a common factor, what are we going to get left with here? What, is that, what am I going to have to multiply by to get back to x, y, if I've taken out y as a common factor? Um, x plus 3. Good. Okay. Now we've got x plus 3, and that's equal to 1. Yes. Okay. Now, I want you to, again, you gave me a suggestion, and I told you it was wrong, but I want you to see why it was wrong and see the difference between what I've got now and what you wanted to do. Okay. Okay. Can you see here, you wanted to divide I by want. the 3y. Yes. Okay. Now, you can only divide by something once this is one term. And so, can you see now, you've got y times x plus 3 is 1. Yes. So, to get y by itself, in other words, to isolate y, now we are allowed to divide by the x plus, plus three. 3. Yes. Okay, so this is rubbish, absolute rubbish, okay? Okay. I want to show you something very quickly. If I have something like 2y is equal to 8, or I have y plus 2 is equal to 8, very different, okay? Can yes. I divide by the 2 here? Um, yes. Yes, because it's the coefficient of y and it's being multiplied by y. So here I can get y is 4. Yes. Can I divide by 2 here? No. No. And that's what you were suggesting that no. I did. <laughs> okay. So yes. you can see that what you were suggesting was just not on for a good mathematician. Yes. Okay. Right. So let's get back to where we were. So now we've got y is equal to 1 over x plus 3. Can yes. you see that we finally hit kind of bingo, pay dirt. We've hit the right spot that we need because we've got y equals something or other. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, did they just ask you to find the equation of the inverse or did they want you to draw it as well? To draw it and find the domain and range. And find the domain and range. Yes. Okay. I'm going to just talk about the domain quickly. What do you know about the domain of any function? What uh, does it consist of? The x values. X values. So now, can you tell me if there's any x value that would make this expression become undefined? And I'm sure you know this answer. Um, um, 1 over 0. Okay, we don't want it to be 1 over 0, do we? No. Okay, so what value would make this thing on the denominator a 0? Um, x. Uh, say that again. Is it x? Okay, which value of x would make this denominator become a zero? Uh, I'm confused. Okay, well we don't want, if x plus 3 was a zero, and we don't want it to be a zero, so x must not be a zero. minus 3. No, oh, okay. if it was a zero, it would be fine, because that would be 1 over 3. All right. Okay, yes. so our domain is going to be x element of real, but not minus 3.